Hi everyone, it's the Canny Crafter and I am here with, ooh, <laughs> let's try, part seven, part seven, we're, make, we're finally making the cover, we're going to bind it, did I get the binding stuff out, no, I think I'll bind it off camera, there are many tutorials on how to bind, I'm not the best at binding, I still find it really, what's the word, I'm intimidated by it, I think that's the word, Um. So I will do that off camera. I will just show you how I want to make the cover. So, I did forget to get one thing out. Masking tape. So first things first. The material for the cover is, I think I said I wanted this for the other journal. I'm doing it on this one now because it's been stacked up like that. And I've grown to like it. So, put these to one side. And we shall put our papers to one side. Is, um just a brown envelope from Amazon and that is what we are going to use this is the basis for our cover so I'm firstly going to cut it in half I'll just I'll show you what I've done the um, it was like that and I've just cut, well, I've not really carefully, I've just peeled up those edges because I'm not quite sure what height I want. Well, let's just cut it down the middle. Let's get rid of that chunky fold. Okay. I'm going to bring in our signature. So, yeah, if you can hear tools outside. Um, there is work going on. <laughs> right, I'm going to straighten off one of these edges. Like so. Pull in my signatures. I'm bringing them all in because they're all different sizes. Okay. So you can find what I'm doing. So I want about I don't know what that is in inches. There's a bit. There's there's a smidge of a border. So I'm trying to replicate that here and cut that bottom piece off like so. Cycling. Very grateful it's recycling day tomorrow because my bin is full. Um, so we have that and that. Now I want to assess this. I'm also going to take this because I know this is going to be slightly wider. And I think I'm going to go here. Oh, just snapped my pencil. Battery charger in the frame. It's actually a broken battery charger. I don't actually know which bit of it's broken, if it's the cable or if it's the charging bit, so I'm holding on for it until I can figure it out. Okay, so I'm just gonna take this. Let's straighten up this top edge actually. And use it as a template and mark it and then we should have a front and a back the same in theory these away because I don't need them. Well I don't need them. I've got so much. It's approximately the same. Good enough for me. Okay so let's just say yep that fits on there nicely. That all fits 
nicely. Now we need to make spine. Now we need to chain and we're fronting our back. Ooh, I didn't cut this down lengthwise, did I? Tell. Actually, I'm going to take it from that end because that end's a bit flimsy. No, no, I'll take it from that end. Okay, good. So, we have our front, we have our spine, and we have our back. And I'm going to join these with this thick width. It is, let's tell you how wide it is, it's two and a half inches masking tape. And I just tear the length off. I just put it on one piece. And then I flip it and I take this and I leave a smidgen of a gap. Seems like too much of a gap. You know how you know the best way to do it is take the other side and put it on there. Oh, that's not working for me. Okay, let's just guesstimate. It's just a smidge, a smidge of a gap. Take some more. Put the other side on. Flat this down. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to fold that over. Try and get that up there properly. tails up and then I come in and pull two more lengths off and just stick them on the other side like so flip it pull the tails off and put one more strip in the middle on each side. Um yeah we're just gonna get that bone all that thing. So I just want a bit extra strength to the spine and I think I'm gonna as well and this also all these layers on the edge um I had like a weak spot on the envelope spine the spine that I made from the envelope you know what I mean okay yep that's better, I'm much happier with that. Okay, so now we need to think about 
Kovács. Kovács Peter, should I should have seen. I went for. I thought of this. It's double sided now. Oh, could we go completely cutesy with that? Oh, is that bit? Lost. No, I want to go with that. Okay. Now the thing is, I don't think I'm going to get all of that off of it. No, I am not. What I'm going to do is measure. I thought I was going to get two halves out of one sheet. I might go see if I have another sheet of that and another sheet of the inner paper. Luckily, I do. Okay, paper trimmer. Let's see if I can find my marks. There's <laughs> one. Smells lovely. Or was it the card? I don't know. Yep. And what that one for the. No, for some reason it won't. That one is slightly bigger. Okay, that definitely won't fit there. You can always use them on another project. Oh, now one in the back. We could go with that other side though. I think I am. I think I'm gonna go with with the base, going base and forward. And then I'll not get confused between which is the front panel and which is the back, but I will put this on front cover. <laughs> that way I definitely won't get confused. Okay, gotta find these marks again. Maybe hanging over slightly, we can always trim that off. Oh, have I got these wrong? <laughs> if I messed this up already. Okay. Don't worry, we are going to do something with the spine. Um, what I think I want to do first, though, is take my rustic wilderness and just these very edges, ink them off. You could keep the um, the colour of the card, but I just think, especially over the masking tape spine. Now, did you know what I learned from Julia Camellia Craft Design? You can use any ink to do this. Because I think, as much as I love these inks, they are expensive. And I have a green ink, and I didn't know I could do this with the green ink. I thought I had to have a very specific Tim Holtz for this. I'm just going to go on the inside a bit as well. 
just in case I am shy with the paper, we're going to have that green popping through rather than the craft colour. So yeah, who knew? I didn't. Right, for this I am going to use the Beacon 3 in 1. And you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to, I'm going to fold it over. And I'm going to put the wire on the card. On the card, on the cover. Just because if there is any overhand, it's going to be easier to cut it on this edge than on this edge just down a bit I've got a slight hint to an overhang I thought I might See, my paper is off ever so slightly up here, but we've got that green in. And I'm just gonna do that to tie it in a bit more. Okay, and then the same on this side. Put it up to our spine. Yeah, I've cut that down and I've not cut it enough. It's a bit long on this edge too. And again, just cut in with the ink dubber. myself is I want to use this to cover the spine but do I want my stitches on the inside or do I want my stitches on the outside I think if I put the stitches on the inside it's just going to make this really bogey so I am going to put this down. Right. There's a slight border on this I am going to trim off. Just that much. And then I'm going to come in and decide I want That is one, three snowflakes, three snowflakes. That is a good way to measure. In snowflakes, and I count Dracula of Sesame Street. Okay, and then we need to measure height wise. Oh, this is going to work out beautifully. And that's a gorgeous piece of something. Oh, 
all the sheets of paper I want to fold off. And that is going to go as the spine. So, again, the three and one. Lots of gold on this bit. We don't want to go anyway. Okay, now the important thing is keep that flat until it dries. Right, inside cover. Do I want the snowmen or this just the snowmen schnozzers? I think with this actually, I'm just going to go with the schnozzers I think. Because it's the inside. Oh, I'm having, I'm having a thought. Okay. We could put this whole sheet on here and then take a strip of the snowman and put that on as a side loading pocket. How's that for an idea? Or we could take a strip of this and put it on as a side loading pocket. Actually, I think that side loading pocket may be better on the front side because there's a pocket on the back of that signature or we could take a piece of this oh i think i think i like the piece of that actually right okay put that that in that and that okay so we just need to Mark this to size this way. What way? <laughs> that way. Strip or something. Okay, which is the front? That is the front. Paper. See now normally I would have hummed in hard about using this paper because it's double sided and obviously the snowman doffing his cap is much cuter than the snowflake with the noses but it's the carrot snozzles. But I've decided if I find a piece of paper that's good for a project I have to disregard what's on the other side. Because the project for what's on the other side may never come along. Hmm? See? I'm finding little bits of that card I pulled off everywhere. Okay, so we now need to mark the length of this. Lost it. There it is. And then the width of this. Okay, I think we're gonna have to try and fold. So I know. I think right up to that thing there.
And then, just so we know, it's a little bit of spotty. Don't know where that went. Oh, there it is. Put that way. Cayutes. I'm just gonna put some more ink over this mask up to you. Top and bottom. Okay, now we need to pull the other side. From this way, from here. Oops. I don't know why. Trying to just rub it out with my bone folder. Okay. So A pop it, and I'm just wondering if I could sit that in there, it might be cute or not. It's a big thing, but you can still write on it. Okay, we'll, we'll consider that. <laughs> Where is there? It is. I also have some bits left over here, so let's see if there is anything in here we would like to add. There's the little envelope. No. There's this North Way go to. So cute. Mm. There's nothing in there I want to use, but I feel like it needs something. And I don't know what on something is. Maybe? What's it? the washing <laughs> cut that bit off straight
king of Japan, some women. Yep. So you can see I'm trying to tie the front cover into what's in the inside. Ooh, which also means we might need some jammies. Very dark in here. Can you Is that any better? It's coming across dark outside. I bet you we're going to get some more rain. I've got a big floppy roll of glue there. This would also be great um, on a gift bag. Okay, do I want another piece of ribbon? Across the I think I do. Oops. Get a bit of glue, thank you, Pitch. My hands are turning green. I'm hulking out, man. <laughs> Okay, I think on the back side. Oh, I've got this bit of cover here that's sticking out. I hadn't noticed that because we hadn't really looked at the back. I want a bit of washy down this side.
Okay. Two ones. No. Oh, I've got this cute little. Cute little rubbing. No, no, no. Don't want me to have to cut this blue off. Oh my goodness. Okay. So, jammies. Let's see what we have in the jammies. My little tweezers. Please say they are in here. Oh, I found some more um, daikos. Found them. Okay, a bit of this. A couple of these. Oh, I got cheeky hands. Get it off the sheet. One, two, three, four. Oh no, oh no. You flipped upside down. I thought you were just going to go on like a dream. You betrayed me. Ah. I'm now chasing it around the desk. There we go. Okay, that is all I want for the cover. So now I will, well, I will wait until them jemmies have dried. And then I will bind this beauty. And then. Off camera, I will make the cover for the other journal because I think I'm going to make it fabric, so there's going to be some sewing involved. And obviously, I saw off screen, so I think that makes more sense. And then, yeah, I'll come back and we'll do a flip through. And I am still debating putting something in there. <laughs> so I will see you next time. Hopefully, with a flip through. Flip through. That was hard to say. <laughs> Bye.